Okay, so you have heard people say that the customer is always right. But in some cases, it might be. But in this case, it's clearly not the customer that's the right one. Okay, so this story has been out since February 15. I know I'm just doing a recap on it, but I just had to give my point of view on this story because they always talk about how the customer is always right. But with that mentality, you know, some people take it to the extreme level. They feel like they're entitled to certain things because of that customer always right scenario. So this woman decided to go into a Dunkin' Donuts. She ordered a dozen donuts and then they gave her 12. Because we already know that 12 equal a dozen. Well, most people know that. She don't because she wanted more. And they say, okay, how much more do you want? She says she wants a dozen. According to her, a dozen equals 50. Well, we already know if anybody know math, that's not a dozen. Now, they can give you 50 donuts, but that's not going to be a dozen. You have to pay for 50 donuts. You can't pay the same price for a dozen and expect to get 50. But that's what she's expecting. This is what I'm talking about. The customer feel like they're right. Arguing with the person behind the counter that they didn't give you 50 donuts, but they did give you a dozen. She just don't want to accept the fact that 50 is not a dozen. So she has that entitled mentality that, The customer is always right that she's just going to keep arguing with them and try to convince them that 50 equal a dozen. Of course, they wasn't going to go for that because they're not stupid. You know, they already know a dozen donuts is 12. So after going on and on, she finally understood that 12 is a dozen. And then she tried to turn it around like they don't understand English. But it's not that they don't understand English. She don't understand math. She skipped that level. She wasn't paying attention to that class. But whoever came up with this idea that the customer is always right, didn't realize it would have snowballed into something like this. Because people think they're entitled to it. They might see something priced on the shelf out of place. You know, somebody might put one item on a different shelf. And because this item is on a shelf with a lower price and it belongs on this shelf over here with a higher price, They will go up to the register and think they're entitled to the price, even though the item is out of place. Because what? The customer is always right. So like I said, this mentality that the customer is always right got to stop. Because it's just creating a lot of people who go into the stores and don't want to pay their fair price of the item. They want to pay something lower or they want more for their money because they feel like they're entitled to. Because what? The customer is always right. Wrong.